Good evening. Tonight we're going to start with Unit 4, Lesson 11. Represent equivalent fractions by using tape diagrams, number lines, multiplication, or division. All right, we have the same thing going on here, but it's cut up a little bit differently. We have area model A, and that is basically showing us one-fourth, and we are going to be multiplying the top and the bottom by two, making two rows, timesing it by one fourth to get two eighths. On this side, we're cutting it up. So we started off with two eighths and we're gonna divide, divide the top and the bottom by the greatest number possible, which would be just two, which makes sense because we cut it up into two into halves there. So we in the numerator, we have one, and then eight divided by two is four. So there's two different ways of showing how we can use multiplication division by using these area models. All right, so continue on. Here's our tape diagram. And then we're using a number line to show three fourths on that number line. And when we do that, we're showing these tick marks, right? We never count the zero. So we have one, two, three, and that whole represents four. So this is fourths, this whole number line, which this is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. And this last piece that's not colored in is four fourths. So this shows right here that this place would be three fourths. But let's show another way. And we're going to use more tick marks to show an equivalent fraction. One, two, three, and then four. Okay, so how much do we have now? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we have eights. But what would be here? What would be equivalent to three fourths? We have one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths. So another one to write here would be six eighths. So three fourths and six eighths are equivalent. But watch, if we take 6 eighths, we can divide the top and the bottom by 2 to get 3 in the numerator and 4 in the denominator, which is right there, 3 fourths. So 6 eighths and 3 fourths are equivalent fractions. All right, and our next one is 6 tenths. Using this tape diagram, we're showing that 6 tenths is on that number line. And we used our tick marks to set it up, and there is six tenths. So if I wanted to then use division, what number am I going to divide by to, to simplify this or find the equivalent fraction? I'm going to use two. So what happens? Two, six divided by two is three. Ten divided by two is five. So where would three-fifths be on this number line? Well, it's already set up in tenths, so I want to show it in fifths. So there's certain ones that I would be ignoring. So let's go one, two, three, four. And remember that whole is five fifths. So where is three fifths on this number line? Well, we've got one fifth, two fifths, ah, three fifths. So you see how six tenths is equivalent to three fifths. All right, so here is one third, and it's showing the number number line, and also showing you a tape diagram, and showing you that one third is equivalent to four twelfths. Okay, so how'd they do that? They multiplied the top and the bottom by four, and we got four twelfths when we multiply the top and bottom. But you could also show that four twelfths could be divided by four to get one third. Again, one third and four twelfths are equivalent fractions. Next example, two sixths. They have their tape diagram which shows two sixths, then they have a, a, a number line on the bottom that's showing four twelfths. So they're saying that two sixths is equivalent to four twelfths. And how did they get that? Well, they multiply the top and the bottom by two. Two times two is four, and six times two is twelve. You could also do four twelfths and divide the top and the bottom by 
two to show two six. You could also show four twelfths and divide the top and the bottom by four to get one third. So you see all these fractions, two six, four twelfths, one third, they're all equivalent. Bzz, bzz, I is mosquito. They don't go to the vet. Ugh, he's in disguise because he doesn't want to go to the vet because mosquitoes never go. By using this tape diagram and number line, what is the equivalent fraction to one-fourth? Next one, two-fifths is equivalent to what fraction? Using the uh, tape diagram and the number line, find the equivalent fraction of two-fifths. I've been spotted. Ah! Have a good night.